You're watching KFDM 6 News at 6 in HD. It's our right to own guns, um, but also it's just fun to do. It's a bonding experience. A gun owner talking about his hobby. He's concerned about the possibility of a renewed man on some semi-automatic weapons stemming from the Connecticut school shooting. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. And I'm Bill Leger. Thank you for joining us tonight. Investigators say the 20-year-old who opened fire at the elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut, used a Bushmaster, a semi-automatic rifle that is the civilian version of the military's M16. His mother acquired it legally, according to the latest information. The president and some lawmakers are calling for a renewed ban on such weapons. KFDM anchor Ashley Gaston reports opponents of new gun control laws argue the legislation is not the solution. Travis Addington is a gun enthusiast. Three years ago, he ordered a Bushmaster 223 rifle. Addington wanted his unassembled so he could put it together. Um, you order the lower, you screw on the handle, you screw on the buffer tube, assemble the trigger. It took the 24-year-old three hours to assemble the weapon, the civilian version of the M16 used by the U.S. military. It's like Legos for adults in my opinion. Today he's at Lone Star Gun Range in Lumberton shopping for ammunition. The press of a button to drop your magazine and it is a magazine not a clip in this rifle. Addington said in the past 12 hours, the price of ammunition has doubled and the cost of magazines has tripled. The prices have skyrocketed. He believes it's in response to a growing demand for weapons following the school shooting in Connecticut. Investigators say Adam Lanza used a Bushmaster 223 semi-automatic rifle to kill 20 children and six adults at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. Last week, a man used this same weapon to kill two people at a shopping mall in Portland, Oregon. And in July, a gunman used an AR-15 to kill a dozen people and injure 58 at a movie theater in Aurora, Colorado. I also share your belief that weapons that were designed for soldiers in war theaters don't belong on our streets. That was President Obama speaking during a presidential debate. Addington disagrees. I think that people that are fearful of these weapons just aren't educated. And once they are educated, I think the fear will subside and they'll see the, the use and, and the want and the need for these. Addington uses his rifle to compete and to hunt. A right Addington cherishes when he realizes carries with it a large responsibility. In Lumberton, Ashley Gaston, KFDM 6 News. The company that makes the Bushmaster rifle is being put up for sale by its owner. The private equity group says the school shootings are, quote, a watershed event that has raised the national debate about gun control to an unprecedented level. The issue of gun control is a topic of discussion right now on our KFDM News Facebook page. One Facebook fan wrote, having a gun in your home for protection is a lot different than amassing a small militia of assault weapons. Another person writes, nobody is calling for a ban on all guns. There is just no legitimate reason for a civilian to own a semi-automatic assault rifle like a Bushmaster. The next comment reads, the black market will be alive and well, ban or no ban, and there will be a lot of buying and selling of assault weapons. Another Facebook user says, let's put the blame where it needs to be, on the shooter who made a choice to act in such a violent way, not on the gun. If you'd like to share your opinion on the issue, just log on to our KFDM News Facebook page.